All right, guys. Hello. So, two articles are out right now regarding the new December DLC. Today, I'm going to be reacting to this and kind of giving my thoughts on it. Um, we have a very nice car here. This is a... It looks like the kind of car you'd see at the time period or something like the DMC DeLorean. I don't know. This is giving me some serious, like, Back to the Future vibes. But, yeah, so... New improvements and more coming soon in this month's GTA Online update. This is the article that was posted two days ago. Uh, yeah, let's just get right on with this thing. So, with this year coming... Um, wow. With this year drawing to a close, we'd like to thank our devoted community of enterprising criminals, creators, and competitors in Grand Theft Auto Online and provide some details on what is still to come. It's been incredible to see everyone share snapmatics of UFOs above the Los Santos skyline in our biggest Halloween event ever. Rep their favorite soda in the battle between Sprunk and E. Cola. Enjoy featured races and modes from talented creators across the world via the Community Series. And most recently score an incredible GTA 4 trillion collectively in the Heist Challenge. As a result of that absolutely staggering take in the Heist Challenge, a new vehicle in the upcoming GTA Online update, the retro-styled Declasse Tahoma Coupe, will be made available to all people to all GTA Online players for a limited period later this month. So this is the car, I would imagine. This is, it says Declasse on the side. It looks like a coupe. So yeah, it looks. It looks nice, I will say that much, but I don't think it's going to be anything really that special. Unless they give it, like, an HSW upgrade or something like that, I don't think it's going to be that much of a special car. But I, I don't... I already don't like this, though. For a limited period. I, I don't like the sound of that, but... Maybe that's just me overthinking it. Who knows? Building off a suite of adjustments made earlier this year and as part of our continued commitment to make improvements based largely on player feedback, this December's GTA Online update will add a wide range of new improvements to free mode and beyond, many of which were submitted directly by players via the GTA Online feedback website. I highly doubt that, but... Whatever. I, I don't think that Rockstar is reading their feedback page. But then we got a picture here of this dude on his phone. Looking like... He looks honestly a lot like a character that my friends would make in GTA Online. General improvements! Let's hope they're good. Get to your iFruit context faster. Select which context to display or hide via the interaction menu. Okay, that's actually something that I've been wanting for a very long time. Cannot tell you how many times I've clicked, like I've misclicked contacts on my phone in GTA Online, where it's like I'm trying to call like the mechanic or something, or I'm trying to call Lester, but I end up hitting LJT instead. So, I guess that's gonna stop now, and we can select which contacts we want to see and which ones we don't. Because there's so many unnecessary contacts in the game that you you call them and then it just goes to busy. Like Tom Connors, like come on. The Benefactor Terror Bite can now be used to launch business cell missions in all session types, including invite-only sessions. That's very good. Take on Agatha's Casino Story missions as a solo operator by visiting the management office of the Diamond Casino and Resort. These missions previously required at least two players. So they're making those casino stories soloable. I have not actually completed those, but I know a lot of people out there have, so that might be kind of useless to some people, and well, actually a lot of people, but I'll be able to actually complete it now because I, I, I just don't feel like doing it with friends, so that's cool. PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X will add ray trace reflections, rendering real-time reflections on many surfaces via the fidelity mode graphic setting. You had me for a second, but then you say the fidelity mode. Fidelity mode is, like, probably the worst one, in my opinion, at least for, like, frame rates. But there is something interesting regarding this. Rockstar has the performance RT mode, which is, like, performance ray tracing. So if this is, like, genuine ray tracing, then 
Hopefully they put it on the performance RT mode because that will be really cool. Sixty like like sixty FPS and ray tracing. That would be awesome. Vehicle updates. New vehicle purchases will arrive in your garage faster than before. I don't really care about that too much, honestly, but that is definitely nice. Select custom weaponized vehicles can now be used in races where appropriate. Weapons will be disabled outside of GTA races. Wait, outside of GTA races? What do you mean they'll be disabled inside of GTA races? Whatever. Bicycles will be added to the list of vehicles that can be requested from your personal garage when calling the mechanic. I don't think that's really a top priority for people, but whatever. Players on PlayStation 5, miss me, this is the next generation, can enjoy full access to HSW without needing to complete the introductory race. I think everyone's probably completed that race already, though, so whatever. Economy updates. Completing vehicle cargo cell missions in public sessions will award a high demand bonus, bringing this in line with all other business activities, while payouts on smugglers' cell missions will be permanently tripled. Okay, that's actually really nice. That, that's really nice. Basically, the businesses that were kind of left out by the, the criminal enterprises, uh, they're going to go back and add some stuff to them. Hopefully they also buff the overall payout of the vehicle cargo cell missions because that could definitely be brought up a lot more. Get more of what you want faster with an across-the-board increase in the GTA dollar value of all shark cards. Starting today, all shark card denominations have been boosted by 20 to 25% when purchased directly in GTA Online or via any of the platform stores. For special GTA Plus member shark cards, this is on top of the current 15% bonus. So, I'm on GTA 5 right now, actually. Let me just, let me just look at this real quick and tell you guys actually how much this is. I'm already disappointed. So, first off, something that I actually forgot to mention here, the red shark card is gone. The, the red one, the red shark card, the one that used to cost $3 and give and gave you 100 k it's gone. So, I'm going to go over the prices of these things and let you guys be the judge of this. Tiger shark card for $5, US dollars, 250 k Bull shark card for $10, US dollars, 600 k the best seller. Great white shark card for 20 US dollars, 1.5 million. Whale shark card for 50 US dollars, yes, 50 US dollars, is 4.25 million. And the Megalodon shark card for 84.99, so it's on sale right now, 10 million. Yeah, man, you can go out there, you can buy one plane. <laughs> The Luxor Deluxe for 85 US dollars. <laughs> Usually 100 US dollars. Wow. But here we have this. So, ooh, this right here is a very interesting vehicle. Because recently some leaks actually came out about this update, and it was actually involving some stuff in the game files regarding the downtown cab company. Very interesting that they would feature that right here. But this right here, this is a this is a brigade, but it's camoed and it has a plow on the front. And if we're, we're going to read in the next article the the name of this update, but it it looks really cool. But I'm thinking here though because in the game files in the same leaks we actually saw something known as like the acid lab. So. I'm thinking maybe the Acid Lab is going to have something similar to the nightclub where you have like a custom delivery vehicle. If that is actually the case, thank you, Rockstar. These experience improvements and more will arrive alongside the next GTA Online update for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, okay, Xbox Series X and S, Xbox One, and PC coming later this month. Take a walk on the wild side of Blaine County in the first installment of a massive multi-part update taking you all across the expanse of southern San Andreas, featuring some familiar faces and a new troupe or new troop of I say troupe, 
of entrepreneurial misfits on a mission to expand the minds of the citizens of Los Santos one trip at a time. Plus, expect an, a fleet of new vehicles, world events, contact missions, and more. Thank you all so much for playing a huge part in the continued growth and exciting new highs for GTA Online and for all of your valuable and constructive feedback. Please keep it coming. We look forward to implementing more of your ideas and requests as we continue to build on the GTA Online experience with each update. Stay tuned for more, much more very soon. Well, we already have that. Los Santos Drug Wars. Yeah, I told you I had a pretty cool name. So, let's read this now. I'm going to give my thoughts overall on both articles at once. But we'll do one by one, obviously. But here we're seeing some stuff. Looks like we're going to get a new plane. Um, motorcycles. We got the brigade. Even the MTL on the front. It's, it's a brigade. Looks like it's going to be a brigade custom. But, yeah. <laughs> this woman looking absolutely insane. Looks like she's from fucking ancient Egypt. But yeah, I like that tech. That's cool. All right, here we go. Los Santos Drug Wars comes to GTA Online on December thirteenth. So five days from now, we're gonna be getting this update. Starting December 13th, Los Santos Drug Wars injects a new psychoactive strain of chaos into Grand Theft Auto Online on all platforms. Head straight to Blaine County and join up with old pal Nervous Ron and a brand and a, and a new band of out-of-state misfits on a mission to put their stamp on the Los Santos psychedelics trade. Fight off an unlikely coalition of wealthy hippies and trigger-happy bikers while cooking up potent Hallucinogenics. I hope I'm saying that. Yeah, hallucio, halluc. Sound it out, mate. Halluc in hallucinogenics. I can't speak today with complicated words like that. In elaborate labs or out of your own massive rolling chemistry set. Ooh, so we might get something like a like a terror bite, but it's gonna have like a drug lab in it. In the opening chapter of an expansive new two-part story update for GTA Online. Okay. Caution. Los Santos Drug Wars contains a range of wild side effects, including a new business enterprise to operate new vehicles and missions and experimental upgrades. Or, oh, sorry, experiential upgrades. And this is the just the first dose. Be prepared for lots more exciting events, including some jolly holiday hijinks, significant story and gameplay updates, and much more to come. And that's all we got in this article. So, they might give us some more stuff tomorrow. Let's go over this article right here first. Let's go back to it, actually. So, the new improvements I'm really happy for, stuff like this, especially the whole iFruit thing here. I'm really happy about that. But speaking of iFruit, over the weekend, the iFruit app, the app that was notorious for the longest time for being one of the most broken things that Rockstar ever made, was actually deleted from the App Store because it just hasn't been updated for God knows how long. So I'm hoping that Rockstar is going to add something where we can actually get custom plates and stuff like that in the actual game now instead of just that stupid app. Hopefully we can get that. But, uh, yeah, basic just stuff like this. The shark cards, though, that's really disappointing. It's nowhere near enough. The Megalodon shark card, for the money you're paying for it, if you want good value out of it, should give you at least, like, 35 to 45 million. Should give you a lot of money. Like, 10 million dollars. For one hundred dollars, are you serious right now? Come on. But yeah, um, gotta say, I'm I'm seeing a lot of cool stuff here already. I'm seeing like this. This looks like a journey back here, but it's painted in this like gangs like gang looking paint scheme. So maybe we might even get like a journey custom or something like that. I'm not sure what the hell this is right here. It's almost looking like a Stafford, actually. But at the same time, I don't think the Stafford looks like that. It's been a long time since I've driven a Stafford, though, so what I really know. But, ah. Uh, one there. Okay. 
yeah, so, sorry about that. But yeah, uh, again, I'm I'm having many doubts with Rockstar saying that they look at their feedback page. I'm sorry, I just don't buy it. But, as for this, I mean, it definitely looks cool. It, it looks like it's going to be a very interesting update. Now, something I'm actually noticing in this, though, is this right here, this train. Now, normally a train in the picture here would not be very significant, but here's the thing with this train. It's black. And if you play the game, you know that all of the Los Santos, like, railroad company's locomotives are not black. Like, there was one that was similar to this, and that was in the whole mission where you had to go and shoot out the brake cylinders of the train and steal those, like, special ECUs for the auto shop missions. But I, I really want to know if we're going to get something interesting with the trains. Imagine if we actually got, like, a train that we could drive. I'm not saying that that's going to happen, obviously, just because it's in the fucking picture here. But we definitely could get another, like, train hijacking mission or something like that. Something similar to that. We're going to go, like, shoot the brake cylinders again. And also you see all these, like, like, little science experiments and stuff like that. But, yeah. Overall, I think this is going to be a really good DLC. Because, not even just that whole graphics upgrade. Which I'm actually really excited for. I'm, I'm really excited to see what that's going to bring. I, I'm really hoping it's going to be as good as Rockstar's making it out to be here. But, yeah. I, I don't have much else to say. We're going to get some quality of life stuff. And we're going to get some new vehicles. And I'm hoping to God that Rockstar finally adds some vehicles that the community's been looking for. Like the Koenig said, yes, go. Stuff like that. Just something, just stuff that's like basic like that. But yeah. Anyways, though, that's all I really got for you today for this whole thing. Um, yeah. We might get some more stuff tomorrow. Who knows? But yeah, we got five days till the DLC. So happy grinding.